Hello bakers and welcome to another Harry Potter and the Cursed Child special of Bradley's Baking Bible. Now to celebrate the public previews of the show, I'm bringing you some Harry Potter inspired treats throughout the week to help whet your appetite. On Monday we had pumpkin pasties with a salted caramel filling and today I've got something equally as magical for you. The drink of choice for any wizard, it's butter beer cupcakes. Caramel sponge with a butterscotch buttercream and Swiss meringue topping. To begin with, you'll need to prepare your cake mix, so you can watch the video for baking a simple cake from Bradley's Baking Basics down below. I've also added in a tablespoon of caramel syrup. Now, this stuff is actually made for coffee, but it also works brilliantly in cakes as well. Grease and line your Swiss rolls in with baking paper. I find that cutting the corners diagonally will help you get a smooth fit into the tray. Pour in your cake mix, smooth over the surface, and then bake in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once cooled, take a ring cutter and make the rounds for your cupcakes. Now, I know what you're thinking, Bradley, that's an awful lot of wasted cake you've got there. Well, don't worry, it's not going to go to waste and I'm not going to throw it away. Our next Harry Potter inspired bake on Friday is going to show you exactly what to do with it, so keep it safe until then. I've also prepared some buttercream using the 2 to 1 ratio, or twice as much icing sugar to your butter. Once whipped, I've added in 2 tablespoons of butterscotch sauce. But feel free just to use caramel if you can't find butterscotch. Pipe the buttercream onto the sponges and sandwich together 3 layers. Then, crumb coat the outsides of the sponges with a little more buttercream before chilling in the fridge for 10 minutes. For the decoration, roll out some orange icing to about half a centimetre thick and then cut into long rectangles. Wrap the icing around your cakes, cut into sizes as necessary. Then, roll some of your excess icing into sausages to form the handle and stick them onto the sides of the cake with a little warm water or fondant glue. As an extra special twist, I've used the Harry Potter logo as a stencil and cut it onto some red icing to decorate the sides of the cake with. And finally, to top off the cupcakes and give it that freshly poured pint kind of froth, you're going to need some Swiss meringue. Don't worry, it doesn't need to be baked again as this is safe to eat, and you can watch the full video recipe for that from Bradley's Baking Basics in the links below. Pipe the Swiss meringue over the top of the cakes, dribbling some down the sides for an added effect. And there you have it, super cute butterbeer cupcakes that are guaranteed to go down a treat. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you back on Friday for our final Harry Potter inspired bake.